I learned that I had atrial fibrillation in 2019. When I was trying to fall asleep, I could feel that there was something wrong with the rhythm of my heart. They had a, a surgery, uh, emergency surgery, and there's where they, they found out that I had the, the problem. I consulted with a cardiologist. I was referred after I was um, admitted to the hospital and discharged, and um, they put me on, on medication. People tried to discourage me of uh, undergoing anything like invasive. High blood pressure, obesity, sleep apnea, these are all typical risk factors for AFib along with age. And so you can imagine now having older people having more of these comorbidities, the prevalence of atrial fibrillation is increasing in the community. With Loma Linda University Health, we are always trying to find the best way to treat patients. As atrial fibrillation prevalence continues to increase in our population, for us in our medical community, we need to just provide the best modalities of treatment so that we can increase survival and uh, increase the quality of life of our patients. Surgical ablation has been the gold standard for treatment of long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation for decades. The problem is that most patients don't want to undergo open heart surgery strictly for their AFib. Hybrid ablation um, allows us to do minimally invasive incisions um, and allows us to complete the full thickness lesion set that we would do in a surgical maze, but by doing it in two parts. One, surgically, where we go on the outside of the heart and do the ablation epicardially, and then the second part where the cardiologist will come in and do the ablation from the inside of the heart. So a lot of the surgeons have not really embraced uh, this procedure just because of its difficulty. But with the robotic system, what we're seeing is we have increased dexterity, improved visualization, and makes it very teachable for the future generations of surgeons. And so that's why I see that there's gonna be a huge uh, evolution of this space, more focused on robotic hybrid ablation. Our approach to robotic hybrid ablation is really a combination of other methods of hybrid ablation, uh, like the convergent procedure and the totally thoracoscopic, or TT, maze. And although those procedures are well-established and effective, we realized that we could use the robot to make it more effective, less painful, safer for the patient. With our approach, we only do four small incisions in the left side of the chest. And so with those incisions, we're able to maximize the ablations without having larger incisions from the convergent procedure. Um, and it's actually more minimally invasive than other procedures. The teamwork between the cardiac surgeons and electrophysiologists, both before and after the procedure, is essential for success of this procedure. Patients initially think that they will need their chest cut open. But when they realize that this is minimally invasive, done in a robotic approach with a short length of stay and excellent results, they have become much more receptive. These patients that undergo or experience this long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation, so there's a lot of things that are altered in their lives. We see patients who are very desperate of a treatment um, so they can manage and go back to the life that they used to live. Presenting a new approach on handling or treating atrial fibrillation, you can see that spark in their eye where there is actual hope for them once again. With the ablation, I had no doubt that I, I, I could undergo that uh, procedure and that everything was going to be fine. I was told that I, I should just um, take it easy for probably a month, but I was practically ready to go back to work in, in two weeks. The atrial fibrillation is totally gone. I understand the reservations because, you know, it is two procedures, but I feel like in patients that have been in AFib a long time, doing it in a more comprehensive way, at least to me and our group, makes sense. The robotic hybrid ablation technique 
allows the surgeon to maximize their ability to do ablations with the dexterity and improved visualization that the robotic platform provides. And I think because of this, we'll see a huge adoption of this in the surgical community, and we'll see more and more patients being treated this way.